Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since my last upload, I think I, was, I uploaded at the beginning of July, I don't remember, so it's been like a month, so I'm so sorry, and I apologize for the mess in the back, um, I had lunch also really crowded, and I'm running out of space, but that's okay. So, I know I've been not uploading and hopefully I will be back to uploading regularly. So yeah, it's just life's been really busy. I I went back to school. I'm in college now. I also have a job so that takes up a lot of my time too. And yeah. So I my last video was see um books that I hated slash dislike. So I thought to go on with, not to go on with that trend, but since that was like such like a non-positive video that I would make, um, my favorites, my favorite book video, and that's not a lot of books. I only have three favorite books. I mean, I have books that I love and I give it five stars and those books I love, there's like three books that, um, that I really love so much, like, there was a part of me, I was like, oh my god, I love this book so much, and, like, some of them I don't know, like, one of them I don't know why, it's just, I love it, and two of them from a while ago that I read, and one of them is more recent, so, yeah, and because this video will be, probably be so short, I'm gonna be filming another one today, so, yes, let's just get started, okay, my first book, my fourth favorite book, my, everybody might be like, oh that's your favorite book, and it's because it's probably one of John Green's not most well famous books, that's okay, I love it, it's my favorite, and that is What's the World Last by John Green, and I don't know like a lot of mixed reviews on it, like a lot of people say they don't like it. But like when I read it, I didn't hear any of those reviews. I um I had just finished mm, The Fault in Our Stars and I was like on a John Green kick. And looking um <laughs> The Fault in Our Stars wasn't my favorite. I mean I think I gave it five out of five stars, like so, you know, it was still a good book. But then this was the second John Green book I picked up and I fell in love with it and I don't know I, I like to say it's because it was published on my birthday in 2005, published on March 3rd, 2005, and I like to say it's because of that, because it was my birthday. But I think I also liked it because I don't really want to say that it was like a different book. Like, I understand what like, people say, like, oh, it's not his best book. I like, I understand that. It's his first book ever, which means it's just my favorite, and I don't know. Like, every time someone asks me what's my favorite book, I always say this one. And because I just loved it so much. And for people who don't know what this book is about, it's about this boy named Miles Pudge Falter. And he moved from Florida, Cheltenham, I think, to go to a school. And he meets a girl named Alaska Young. And he, he falls in love with her. And it was just like, it's this before and after of what happens with her. And like, there are some of my favorite quotes in this book, and yeah, so every time like I have to like use a quote for a book or something, like I go to this like I did his art project my senior year, then it was about me, so I included this as my favorite book, and then I had to put like quotes that I loved, and so I picked them from this. And, and fun fact, <laughs> like you know this is my favorite book. I have three copies. This is my original, then I got a hardback one, and then I had to get a separate one for my art project. This art project required me to rip out pages of my book, and I was not going to do that to my two books, so I got a third one, and it's missing two pages, so, yeah. My second favorite is, um, one that I haven't heard many reviews about, but a lot of people said they like it, that they, it's like kind of mixed reviews from what I heard, from a few that I heard, and that is Speak by 
Let me look at Laura Halls Anderson. This is the 13th anniversary edition. Um, oh, it's that new book. No bookmark, I guess. So. Okay, sorry. So, we read this. I read this my freshman year of high school because we read it for our English class. My English class. And I, like, school reading, I really didn't like because the books they gave us were kind of boring and plain. But they gave us this one. And I started reading it and I, I like, I read, ugh, I just flew through it. Like, I finished it two weeks after they gave us the book. And I just read through it and I loved it. And also the same thing I like to say, haha, it's like published the same year that I was born. It's published in 1999, <laughs> but uh, that's not really it. I just understand kind of why people don't like it. Like, that's your opinion. And this is my opinion. I love this book. It, this was the first book that I have, I had read that dealt with something that Melinda went through and I don't it like I don't it like hit a place inside me and there's like special reasons why I like this. No I'm not gonna get into that but I just love this book so much like I believe I don't know if I read this be before I read Old Deep Alaska or after but this like is my no like Looking for Alaska is my number one favorite book. And this, like, is two. So, yeah. And for people who don't know what this is about, there's this girl named Melinda Sotanos, so and her, she starts her freshman year, but um, she got busted by a family video party by calling the cops, and her friends, and even strangers, all hate her. But. Something bad happened to her at this party. That's why she called the cops and she just stopped speaking for what happened to her. And it's just a beautiful book. And I think everyone should read it. Just read it once in your life and see because I love this book so much. I only own one copy of that book because it was like so hard for me to find. Like when I found this in Barnes and Noble, like I. Um, I got really excited because I wanted to own a copy, and yeah, I was 15 when I bought that, so yeah. And when I bought it, I was like still getting into reading, like my bookshelves were not as big as they are now. Like I only had like one bookcase, and it was in my bedroom. Like I don't even think I had a bookcase. And then, yeah, so yeah, just looking at it, it kind of reminds me of how far I have come in my reading experience and I love that. So yeah. And then Gina, my third and last favorite book ever is was a recent read and it really surprised me that this was a favorite of mine. I didn't think I was gonna like it that much but like I was halfway through it and I just loved it. And I hope next week is about this and the sequel, but I heard a lot of amazing things about it, and I cannot wait for the third book to come out, I cannot wait to read the second book, and that is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, and I just, I do not know what is what was about this book that made me fall in love with it, but I don't, like, I just was reading it, and there was, like, I don't know, like, halfway through, I was just, like, this is a book that, like, I love this book. This is, like, what, my third favorite book, and it really surprised me, because, um, I usually, like, I like new, re new releases, but this one, like, they're not, like, my favorite, but this one became my favorite. This one was published in 2015. And so, yeah, I really like this, and I feel like everyone should read it, read the sequel, 
week that Dylan Fox Runner comes out. Um, in 2018, I believe it comes out, the Dylan Fox. And, yeah, and the author, she's really funny on Twitter, and she speaks out against them, and then she's really amazing, and she writes really good, so you guys should all read this. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> that's all my f that's all my favorite books, and I hope you liked it, and I know this is kind of short, and so I just really hope you liked it, and um, who knows, maybe my favorite books will grow, even though, like, um, speaking, like, people are asking my favorite books a long time, and, like, no other book has added to it until, like, a month ago. Yeah, I read this a month ago. So, yeah. So, yes. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day, and hopefully I will get you uploading more. Bye!